Singaporeans are celebrating the addition of hawker culture to UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. There are hopes the recognition will encourage more to join the trade. Melissa Goh reports. There's something for everyone. Part of the appeal of Singapore's hawker culture. Spaces such as this which cradle a melting pot of food and people are now part of the world's intangible cultural heritage. Sugar cane is my family favourite drinks and uh, chicken rice is my little brother and my favourite food. And to celebrate its successful UNESCO bid, these winning art pieces will be displayed at all hawker centres starting Friday. About 6,000 hawkers will also get these decals for display. I think it's great. There's a lot of uns unsung heroes around here and uh, it's great to finally give them some recognition uh, in terms of like food and in terms of how hard they work every day. One food critic says the listing has given food for thought. Once the doors to Singapore reopens again, people will come to the hawker centres and see this deliciousness with a third eye. They no longer want to know just where and what to eat. They will want to know so much more. And there is a world of opportunities in the areas of trade, tourism, um, entrepreneurism, education, the whole enterprise thing. Getting listed also casts the spotlight on the role of hawker food in everyday life. It's very timely, particularly considering the important role that hawker centres and the hawkers have played uh, in the last few months. It didn't close uh, throughout the pandemic and it provided the very essential food, nourishment and also a bit of a social anchoring for Singaporeans. generation of many hawkers, past, present and also the future ones, I hope they'll be inspired by this. And I think it's now up to us, all of us in Singapore, to do something to retain it, to ensure that future generations will continue to enjoy it and to cherish it. Even as the bus simmers down, hawkers are hoping younger people will be inspired to put on an apron. The greatest difficulty we have is employing of manpower. I think this nomination, uh, this award is a, is a move in the right direction and um, the younger generation should be more interested to step in to take over their older generations, their parents' livelihoods. These practical ideas, they say, can help preserve this way of life for years to come.